day by Open Road. Have a field day here. As you can see, a lot of people viewing my channel are not subscribed. It would be super cool if you could subscribe to my channel. It costs absolutely nothing. You don't get that for nothing in the world. And if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe. It would be just cool to help the channel go. And so if you're feeling kind and generous and want to give your thumb a little bit of exercise, click that subscribe button. So County Dublin. Um, over there would be Dunleary, where you can see the, the orange haze. And this is a lovely popular walk among all the locals, as you can see why, it's stunning. Hoping for a nice sunrise here. A lot of the locals will go for a jog or a walk the dogs along here. Um, the beach wouldn't be a great sandy beach, but it's good for a walk. Um, a lot of people go for a walk. Um, this is one of those shallow bay areas where when the tide comes in, it comes in from a distance. When it goes out, like you could probably walk about 500 meters probably a kilometer out you probably don't want to do that in case the tide starts coming in then you're kind of running for it but uh you know this is one of those beaches where it's it's only a few millimeters and now uh, i think i've done a time lapse of this before we can see the, the tide come in from a great distance It's um, a very posh area. I came this way because one of my subscribers wanted to see a video of a road close by. That will be coming up next. Um, oh god, I hate that sea smell. Like seaweed. Nasty. The things I do for you. So out there is, I believe, like a pool area. Um, it's just a walled off area that would have the water kind of calm. I think it's more popular viewed in Australia. Do you see the, the one that they have like the, the swimming pool there? There's another one or two of these located around the area. I think it was for the locals back in the day when it was choppy weather. You could still go for your swim. Um, but it's no longer in use anymore so it's kind of demolished a bit. So there is two car parks here. Uh, public transport isn't much to get here. One. There is a dark line, but it's a good bit away. I think the closest dark line would be over that way, I'm not sure you can see it there. No, you probably can't. So at the very other side of this water would be where the other dark line is. There's probably a few buses that run out here, but it's not really mainly accessible. Um, so best bet would probably be a car. Now I'm sure there are buses that come out here. It's not like a popular tourist destination as such as like Bray or um, Holt or a lot of transport brings you there. It's just unnatural. Ooh, I wanna... the, the waves just coming in there is just so calm looking. And it's funny, you have the contrast of a busy road behind you and then you have the calming nature in front. So I'm gonna see if I can go down, get a bit quieter. And with everything you know yourself, if you are coming to the beach, make sure to clean up after yourself. And try not to leave any rubbish. You know, keep Ireland beautiful. 
Keep it tidy, keep it clean. Yeah, what do we got here? Let's go get it. Yeah, there we go. Person's going 200 meters beyond this notice are in danger of being stranded by incoming tides. So I did say 500 meters, they're one in 200 meters, but that's, you know, a government warning. So you'll probably get the 500 if you chase it out. And then, you know, literally turn around and come back. But the way some of it works is you'll have different like levels of sand. So you might be on your way back, but the, the water surrounds you from behind. So you have to be careful about that. And uh, unless it's the middle of summer, when it's 30 degrees, that water's going to be freezing cold. <sighs> See if we can get this it's beautifully clear. Like. Just so crystal clear water. And you can start seeing probably a bit of graffiti in the other thing. I don't want to go too far because I know it's like soggy sand and I'll end up getting swamped in. I don't know if you can see it. There's all the little puncture puncture wounds in the sand is the best way to describe it. There's like a little um sea urchin thing that like burrows its way down into the sand and then when the water retreats it comes up to feed I believe on the seaweed left behind. So that's where you get the uh, little puncture wounds coming up to feed. I love that ripple in it. Looks very nice for photography. And over that way you have the old power station. It was this um wouldn't say dismantled, it was uh, decommissioned. Ooh, when was that decommissioned? I think it was early two thousands. It's decommissioned, but the two twin stacks are such an iconic part of Dublin that they left it remaining. Now there are plans on what they're going to do with them. Some are going to do like a possible walkway or a bungee jump towards them. Um, good luck getting insurance on doing that. But um, yeah, I think there was a petition to keep them because it's an iconic part of Dublin. Like I don't even know what it would look like without them. It would just look very plain. That part. You know, it's like if, if you're just looking at it, oh, I hate that smell. That's why I hate seafood. Ugh, oh. If you love the smell of sea, you'll love this, but ugh. Right. so could you imagine how plain it would be without those twin towers there? Now, it doesn't actually look that impressive on the back of the screen. Hopefully it looks a bit better there. And then you can probably see a plane coming in behind. That's going down to Dublin Airport there. See ya. This is Sandy Mount Strand. Sandy Mount Strand, yeah, that's the one. Um, two car parks here. Big industrial estate, industrial estate, industrial area up there. As you can probably see all the lights. There is a nice kind of part of a beach up around this corner a bit further. But it's it's very small, like this little patch of sand here. Some nice colours there. But that's about it. Like it's it's good for a walk. Um probably wouldn't go swimming here. Because like the water's shallow. You know? Like if you go two hundred meters out, it's it's only gonna be ankle deep. Um, so probably wouldn't be the best swimming hole if you want a good swimming hole the 40 foot I'll probably get out there one of the days it's down by Dunleary so it's at the other end people even go out there on Christmas day one of the coldest days of the year so, so if you do fancy a stroll it's a nice area nice and safe might be awkward to get to I'll see if we can get some bus, buses that come out here and I'll pop them up for more information on how to get out here because now there's no Dart, there's no Lewis 
and uh, yeah, any other information I can think of will pop up on screen. Um, if you're into your photography, this is it's a hit and miss with sunrise shots, but you can get some epic ones. Um, I got one of my favourite ones here. Like the whole sky just turned blue and purple. It's fantastic. And then you get the reflections off of the water when it's calm. So if you're into your photography, if you're into your wildlife photography, and if you're into walking, this is a good spot to come.